When facing a seemingly insurmountable challenge in life, finding our back against the wall, all secular answers and escape routes seemingly exhausted, beset on all sides by fear and the perceived negative outcome, we become willing. From this nadir of spirit, a spark of faith bursts into life. In truth, it was always there, buried beneath conventional thinking and secular belief. When faced with the insurmountable, having exhausted the conventional, we are left only with what was once unthinkable. Prayer. Perhaps we've not prayed in years or ever prayed in a religious sense. Perhaps we believed ourselves to be agnostic or a conversational atheist, effectively leaving the question of God simmering on a back burner, only to find life has turned up the heat and the pot is boiling over. We may even be surrounded by people trying to help, yet we feel alone, lost, trapped, the walls closing in, no apparent way out. So we begin to pray. We make sure we are alone, unseen. We may even feel a bit guilty for all those times we disparaged those holy rollers, having felt superior to those weak-willed believers, perhaps even gleefully engaged in a little schadenfreude when a religious figure fell from favor. But having found ourselves at the court of last resort, bereft of any more good ideas or plans, we finally turn to prayer. From this moment of trepidation, one book closes and a new one opens. We quickly find that the universe does not make too hard terms for those who earnestly seek. That God will make himself known to us if we ask. The great carpenter taught that upon this mustard seed's worth of faith, a deeply rooted and strong spiritual life can be grown. Our job to remain open-minded, honest, and willing to learn. Having stepped onto this path doesn't mean our prayers are answered in the manner we outline. <laughs> Doubtful. Our prayers are answered in the positive, and our vision is limited while God's is not. Spiritual hindsight has shown me that many of the things I prayed for, had they been delivered as I ordered them, would have caused more trouble and problems down the road. Prayer will never cause pain or unintended consequences. So it is not that the universe says no, for no is not in its vocabulary, but it will not say yes to anything that may cause harm, intended or not. There are many questions about life and living that are beyond our ability to comprehend. So we pray softly, form and style of little importance, speaking from the heart of paramount importance. God will deliver in some good way, for our birthright is to be happy, joyous, and free. My name is Vincent Lee Jones. You can find my videos on Facebook at Miracles of Recovery, on YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook as well at Vincent Lee Jones, and my writings on Blogspot, title of the page, Living in Spirit. Have a blessed day.